Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Trailblazer League. Last video with Sire and Vorkath, and we got a task done that's been on my mind for a while. We got the 45 second Vorkath kill, or under 45 second kill, which was a 500 point league task. We haven't really cracked into clues much on this account besides for the mediums that one time, um, but that's one of the last things I really have been meaning to get done for a while on this account, and that's what I want to do today. Well, not today, tomorrow. I've been recording a lot of these intros late at night, so when I say today, like for me it's tomorrow, but today in this video, I need to make dinner right now though because it's getting really late, so it is that time of day again where we go and AFK something. We still have that Abbey Demon task from last video, so I guess we'll just go back to that and just AFK Slayer the rest of the night. I still want to get a Thermi task and a Kraken task because there's some pretty easy league points we can get if we just get one task of each. So hopefully at some point we can get those tasks. Yes, we got Smoke Devils. That means we can kill Thermi now. Although it's not really AFK, so I gotta finish eating first. All right, I'm excited for Smoke Devils. It's really late at night right now, so hopefully it's not hard to find the world. I heard it was packed, but that was like two weeks ago, so I don't know if it's died down now, but I guess we'll see. Oh, someone's in here. This might be a little bit difficult. Yeah, look at those worlds. They're all like pretty empty right now, too. Dude, I've actually hopped like 10 worlds now, and there's someone in every world. There's one to 200 people in every world, and there's someone that just happens to be here in all the worlds. All right, well, as I'm hopping worlds here, there's three tasks that we can get done here. One is kill a regular smoke devil, one is kill the smoke devil boss, and then another is equip and a cult necklace. So two out of three of those we will definitely get done. As for the equip and the cult necklace, well, that's up to RNG. So you can see we will get the three times drop rate for the occult necklace. It's normally one out of 349 from the boss, or one out of 512 from the regular smoke devils. We're gonna be killing the boss though, so it's gonna be one out of 116 to get the occult. Could it be? We actually found an empty world for the Smoke Devil boss. I'll be doing the redemption method, so whenever my health drops below 10, redemption will just heal us back up. Although with the draining strikes, this seems to be really, really easy. Alright, uh, that was 250 point league task. Just to show you an example of how this works, once my health drops below 10, any second now, you'd see our prayer gets drained down to zero, and then the health gets restored. Oh, oh, we got Ancient Staff. <laughs> Can we even equip that? I oh, need desert treasure. <laughs> Anyways, Thermi's max hit is an 8, so unless I just completely stop paying attention, then I'm not gonna die. Well, it's quite simple really. All you gotta do is simply choose to get the drop, and you're done. <laughs> 250 point lead task. I guess now we just gotta kill our regular smoke devil. And how many points is that? Also 250 more points, so we just got 750 points in like just a few minutes. Alright, well, OSRS long thermi grind comes to an end, OSRS. Uh, do I still want to kill the boss? I mean, pet would be cool, but like, eh, I don't know if I really care that much. Imagine a cult necklace before Trident. Imagine maxing before Trident. Imagine like literally everything <laughs> before Trident, because I still haven't had the Kraken task. Honestly, dude, I'll just like... I'll just like skip until I get easy tasks or until I get a Kraken task because a Kraken task is really the last thing I need for Slayer and then I could be done with Slayer forever. All right, here's the clue tasks. I want to focus today on beginner and easy clues mainly because uh, this is what Mod Husky posted on Twitter a few days ago. He said that next game update, which is going to be in less than 24 hours, they're going to be removing more Zaya steps and possibly other steps that are uncompletable too in the league. So I'd rather hold off on like the hards and maybe elites and masters too until after the update tomorrow morning. The tasks for all these different tiers of clues are essentially just get unique items and then fill up slots in the collection log. And then there's also one for each of them which is reach the milestones which I'm not going to do for any of them. It's like 600 beginners, 500 easies, 400 mediums, and so on. I won't be spending the time doing those but the second to highest tier one like these, I want to go for these. We're going to start with easies today though and we have to get 50 easy clue collection log slots filled. That's the last tier of easy clue tasks, well besides the 500 easies, but yeah. All right, here's all the scrolls that we have in the bank at the moment. So we have uh, 38 beginners, 150 easies. Like I said, we're gonna start with the easies. For some reason, it's really weird. If you take out all of them, it doesn't save a placeholder. So if I take that out, 
there's just no way to save a placeholder for it. I've also learned from my experience with the mediums. I opened 100 mediums, and by the time we were like 40 in, we finished all the tasks. So I'm probably not going to like go for all of them. Maybe I'll stop when we have like 40 or 50 caskets rather than go for 100 because at that point it's just kind of a waste of time doing all those extras. And apparently I have this stash built already. Hmm. I don't know if I want to build the stashes because if we're only doing like 40 clues, like that's really not that many. It'd probably take longer to worry about getting all the planks and building all the stashes rather than just keeping the items in the bank and grabbing them as I need them. Okay, I know we're just on the first clue, but we just got this step and this reminded me of something. Uh, this one in the mining guild here. There's actually a way to get there really fast. It's like really niche. If you enter the mining guild, like you just use the mining guild teleport. This won't work in the league because we don't have it. Um, but if you have the disc of returning, you can use the disc of returning and then leave the area. I, I guess it's actually for this step that's over here. You know what? Actually, I want to test that out in the main game. Let, let's try it in the main game. All right. Say we get one of those steps that's on the west side of the dwarven mines. We're going to come to the POH, teleport using the jewelry box to the mining guild, then activate the disc of returning and it takes us over here, then activate it again, leave, and this will teleport us right over here. And there's a... Uh, I know there's a clue step over here, so I assume this is the fastest way to get here. Okay, just wanted to show that. Back to the main game. I was just editing the last clip and I realized I said back to the main game when this is Trailblazer League. Anyways, because we have the Treasure Seeker Relic, that means every clue will be the minimum amount of steps. So we have one step in, this will be the guaranteed casket. All the easies will all be two steps each. One of the first clue steps that we get is at the lumber yard. So, I mean, I'll, I'll just go make the planks for it, dude, because I have to get the items anyways for these clues. So I, I may as well just build a stat. Like, it, it's right here. I may as well just make a few inventories of planks. I know I'm always so indecisive. I'm sorry. There's this step at Fishing Trawler that's have nothing at all on you, and there's no monsters that we have to fight for easy. So I'll just be naked the whole time while doing easies then, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking before how it's like really annoying building stash units. It's not the building the stash units that's the annoying part, it's the getting the items that's the annoying part. Oh, I got this step in Port Serim, and we planted this spirit tree last video from the spirit seed that we got from Vorkath, so we can check that. And we got 300k farming XP, and there should also be a task to just travel between two spirit trees that you've planted. Wait, maybe it only works going in a specific direction, let's see. There we go. As an elite task, 250 points for that. And just having that tree in Port Serim is really nice, because there's a pretty decent amount of clues that are in Port Serim or the surrounding area. No, I dropped all my ham stuff when I was doing clues last time to make bank space and we need a ham rope, so I'm just gonna not do this step. Like, it's just not even worth the time. I know you can store in the POH, but I just didn't feel like building the armor case or wardrobe or whatever. Whoa, this is trippy. So I just got this clue step on this account, and as I was getting it, I got a beginner clue. Okay, so this is an easy clue, and I got a beginner clue on the UIM, and they're both in the same spot. Bruh. Except this one's beginner, so. But yeah, it's that's trippy, dude. Yo, look at that dude. Holy crap. Dragon Full Helm, the Wyvern Shield. That's sick. First time seeing a Dragon Full Helm in the league, though. Hey. Hey. And there it is. 50 easy caskets. Hopefully that should be enough to get us, like, all the uniques and stuff that we need for all those tasks. In total, if you include the time spent collecting all the items and building all the stashes, it was like probably a little bit under an hour and a half. I probably have all of them or almost all the sashes that I can build built. So if I do have to go back for more easies, it'll be really fast. One last thing we have to do before we start opening all these easies is clear out some bank space because once again, it is almost full. Okay, we got plenty of space. We're only opening 50, that should be good, right? Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this because like, I feel like easies aren't really that interesting. There's really no item that would be particularly good to get, so... I'll just play the music all the way through, and then once we're done, we'll go over the tasks that we got done. Let me just open one first real quick, uh, just to see on the sidebar here. Okay. I forgot I've done 30 before. For some reason, I had it in my head that I've only, like, done one or five or something. All right, well, let's begin. Okay, and here's the last one right here. All right, 
we're done with the easies. Okay, uh, I wasn't really paying attention. Did we get the last task done for the easies? Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, fill 50. Okay, uh, let me check the collection log. We'll see how many collection log slots we have filled out then. Oh, we only have 42. Okay, I mean, we have plenty of more easies in the bank array that we can do. So I guess we'll just go do more easy clues done until we get the 50 uniques filled out. Oh, no, it's so annoying. So you have to talk to that guy for the clue step, but his left click option by default is attack. <laughs> So I have to hop worlds or wait for him to respawn. I'm sorry, Rusty. Thank you very much for the clue. Let's get the foot down. And once again, we are back to 50 easy clues. Let's go back to the bank and actually probably clear out bank space first. And then we can get back to opening more clues. Fine, quit begging. I'll build the armor case in the POH. There's the oak one, upgrade to the teak one, and upgrade to the mahogany one. There's all this stuff that we got from the tasks on Waterbirth Island. So let's just deposit it all into there. Oh, that's for the fine. We'll build a magic ward drip too. All right, we should be good now. So in total, we've got 100 easy caskets. We got the 50 before and 50 now. Uh, we started with 150 easies and we have 18 left. So we got 100 caskets out of 132 scroll boxes. This will probably be the last easy clue opening on this account. So with that said, let's begin. <laughs> Yo, I forgot that that even existed. No task for equipping that, but that's uh, sweet, dude. I totally forgot about those like special team capes. All right, we're almost done. Okay, there we go. Uh, that is 130 easy clues done in total, and we got all the tasks related to easy clues done, except for doing 500 easies. I really don't want to do that. It would appear the bank is full, but that's okay because now that we're done opening all the easies, we can go ahead and toss these all into the costume room. After we finish putting all these uniques in the POH, let's see if we have any full vestment sets. Um, you have to do easies and mediums to complete a vestment set because from the easy clues you get the top and the bottom, and then the other four pieces, the miter, cloak, stole, and crozier, all come from medium. So after we get everything into the treasure chest, we'll see if any of those vestment sets are complete. Ah, uh, look at this satisfaction. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, here's the last bit of stuff I can deposit into here. The only vestment piece I didn't put in was the bandos cloak because I was going to say we need that for master clues, but we don't have a BGS anyway, so I guess I could put that in here. Um, but let's go down to the vestment wherever it's at in here and see if we finish any of the sets. No, we have not finished any sets. Unlucky, dude. It's probably not unlucky, but yeah. It's so cool we got that team cape though. Blue's my favorite color. Um, the team cape I is green and the team cape zero is red. And we just so happened to get the blue one. Yo, look at that fashion scape. We're gonna go for beginners next. And all the tasks are pretty much the same except for the elite task. The, the highest tier task I don't wanna do. That's 600 easies for the explorer mode. But the next hardest one to do is fill every beginner clue collection log slot. Here's what the beginner log looks like right now with 15 beginners done. Oh, I should show you the easies as well. So we got 67 out of 131 with 130 clues completed. And here is the loot tracker. Feel free to pause at any point because I know there's a lot of stuff to look at in here. Oh, we got one master clue from them as well. Usually masters are one out of 50 from easy clues. So I guess the relic doesn't make that one out of 20 from the clues. It's still one out of 50 from easies. I would assume unless we just got kind of unlucky. Wait, I didn't check this yet. Let's see if we finished any of the god books. No, no god books done. Uh, we can open the clues on Toronto to be more likely to get pages, but I'd rather get other uniques. I mean, at this point for the easies, we don't have to get other uniques, but previously we had to get those uniques for the task. Next problem is that we only have 38 beginner clues at the moment, so we'll have to get more. All right, back to good old reliable. Let's tag all the goblins and let the massacre begin. Because of the clue relic, beginners are 1 out of 20 and easies are 1 out of 20, so essentially every 10 kills we can expect either or, but we don't have to do easy clues anymore, so that doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, imagine if you had the range relic and you had the blowpipe and you had the one tick attack speed and you're just rapidly hitting all of them in the whole area, just like no matter where you're standing. Look, it's quite simple really. You just choose to get more of the clue you want and less of the clue that you don't want. All right, there we go. Uh, I think we'll call it here for the goblins. We got 50 more beginner clues clues. Just ignore the amount of easies that we got. Oh, it's been over an hour. I just checked the time. I didn't realize it's been so long. All right, let's get to uh, doing these clues. Combined with what we have in the bank, we have 88. 
I don't know if I'll do all the Charlie steps. I'll do all the others that I can, but Charlie's kind of annoying. Maybe I'll do some of the easier Charlie steps, but for the most part, yeah. The really nice thing about beginners is that usually they're one to three steps long, but with the Treasure Seeker Relic, they're always guaranteed to be the lowest number of steps. So if we get a step that we can do, that automatically means we will get the casket. Oops, I just realized I have the wrong strange device. It's just one of the default items you're given for the league. Did you just see that? <laughs> what? what? What just happened there? <laughs> what? All right, well, we got 77 caskets out of that. I didn't think the ratio of like actual completable, I didn't want to do some of the more annoying Charlie steps and we still got 77 done. So we ended up right here by the goblins. I think that's a sign that we should just kill some more goblins and just go for 100 caskets. So that way we can say that this video, we've done 100 easy and 100 beginners. So let me grab my whip back out and we'll get back to smacking those goblin boys back to Lumbridge. All right, so ignoring the ratio of beginners to easies, uh, this should be enough to get us to 100 beginners, so let's get back to it. And that puts us at 100 beginners now. Let's go to the bank and start opening these. I've never grinded out beginners before, and that's something I really like about the League. It makes you do a lot of new things that you may not have done before because of like the League tasks, or just because it's easier to do things in the League that make it more enjoyable. Oh my god, I was like, how is the bank full already? And then I remembered I had all these bank fillers in here. <laughs> okay, so just like with the easies, there's really nothing in particular that's really that good to get. I just want to get the tasks done. So uh, there's nothing to say. I'll just put music over me opening them. And let's just open one and then check the little side thing here to make sure it's reset. All right, let's begin. Okay, and the last beginner casket, cabbages. Nice, cool. Um, so we clearly didn't get all the uniques. Let's actually uh, check here. All right, so we're not exactly close to being done with this beginner clue log here, uh, which I think is the only other task we have, like get this whole log done and then also get 600 beginner clues. Both of those tasks I don't really care about, but I think we got all the other tasks out of the way that are related to beginner clues. Yeah, I don't see any others. There is this one, equip an ornament kit item. I know we got the rune scimitar ornament kit. Do we have a rune scimitar? Yeah, so we'll just toss one of these ornament kits on there and equip that. And that's 100 points for that. And as for the loot tracker for the 100 beginners, it all fits on the screen right here. So there you go. In terms of GE value, 1.86 million. I was about to say, wow, I didn't realize that beginner clues were worth 18.6K each on average. But then I remembered we get three times the uniques. The actual average for beginners, like in the main game, is about 7K. Oh, dude, if that was one more. <laughs> That's, that's unfortunate. Anyways, my favorite two items from Beginner Clues, which are probably a lot of other people's as well, are the Mole Slippers and the Shoulder Parrot. It's unfortunate that Shoulder Parrot counts as a cape slot because, like, I feel so naked without a cape. He's just vibing, bro. But yeah, tonight while I'm sleeping, there's gonna be a game update, and in the update, it's gonna make Hard Clues easier by removing some of the steps that we can't do. Um, it, maybe it's for Elites and Masters too, but I think it'll mainly affect Hard Clues. So tomorrow, after the update, is gonna be a day of doing Hard Clues. I'm very excited for it. But for today, we are wrapping up with 49,210 League Points. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.